Good afternoon. My name is Tom Kalinowski. I'm the Director of Technology and Operations at Colonial Intermediate Unit 20. Today is Tuesday, May 2nd, 2018. In today's episode of Tech Tips, we're going to review with you how you can use Google Forms along with yet, yet another mail merge to automatically send emails to people containing the information they submitted in a Google Form survey. Let's get started. First thing we want to do is go into our Google Drive and create a new Google Form. For this example, we'll just name this uh, Tech Tip 48. All right, now the first thing we uh, want to do is make sure we're collecting email addresses. So let's click on the settings up here. And there's a checkbox up here, collect email addresses. We'll check that. And in this particular uh, example, we will not restrict to intermediate unit 20 users. And we'll go ahead and click save. You'll see now that the first question is email address. Let's make, uh, let me move my picture out of the way here. You'll see the first question is called untitled. Let's uh, call this first name. Let's add another question, the last name. And I don't know, maybe favorite color. All right. So we have all of our questions there now. Let's go ahead and test our survey real quick. We'll go up here, we'll click on the preview icon. And we'll type this in. Let's type in our email address. In this example, I'm just going to use a uh, fake email address. If you've never heard of uh, melanator.com, uh, I'll uh, show you what it is uh, really quick here. Uh, it's a way of creating a temporary email address uh, that's really meant to be thrown away. Uh, you wouldn't ever send anything private there, uh, just a temporary email address. And it, it could be absolutely anything. You don't have to register for the service first. Uh, you could just type in a series of characters followed by at melanator.com. So I'll show you how that works in a moment. Uh, let's uh, continue typing this in. And let's say, I don't know, silver. All right, hit submit. All right, uh, so it says your response has been recorded. And if we go back to here, we can see that there's one response. We could click there. We see uh, the email address, the name, last name, color, etc. If we want to look, that, uh, look at that in a spreadsheet, we could go ahead and click on Create Spreadsheet. We want to create a new spreadsheet. We'll click Create. And now we have our spreadsheet. Now let's say we wanted to um, send out emails uh, based upon the information in here. So the first thing we want to do is create that template email. So let's go into our email, compose, okay, and we'll, let's put a subject in there. Um, 
let's say a response received. Okay. All right. Now let's uh, start composing our email. Uh, thank you for your submission. And this is where we start to customize. So let's go back here and let's say we want it to be first name. So we'll say thank you for your submission and we'll go less than less than. Okay. Paste in the Let's go ahead and click on Compose. We'll leave the to blank. Let's fill in the subject. We'll just say um, submission received. Okay. Let's say thank you for your submission. And let's say we want to use their first name and last name here. So let's get the headings of each of those columns. Uh, so this is simply first name. So we'll go back here and we'll go less than less than paste. Okay, thank you for your submission, Tom. If we wanted to say Tom Smith, uh, we'll put a space in there and we'll do less than less than again. Get the exact heading for the next column. Paste that in there, close that. And we'll put a period in there. And we can say we noted that your favorite color is Okay, and less than less than again, go back here, copy that column heading header, go back to email, paste that in, close it with greater than greater than and another period. And say have a great day. All right. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and click on the X. That'll save that as a draft. Okay. Now let's go back to our responses, click on add-ons, and we want to scroll down to um, yet another mail merge. If you don't have yet another mail merge, you can click get, get add-ons and go find it. Uh, but uh, I already have it, so we'll say get another yet another mail merge and we'll start mail merge. All right, so it says sender name. We'll uh, keep my name there. Email template. Uh, right now, you can see it's uh, browsing uh, or it's looking for all of my email templates. Uh, that's simply everything that's in your draft. Uh, so we'll go here and we'll say submission received because that's the uh, subject of the email that I wanted to use. Do we want to track emails that are open, clicked, or bounced? It's always a good idea. We could just keep that checked. Okay. And uh, that's it. We can go ahead and click on send one email. It says sending zero of one. All right, so that email is now sent. Uh, it says only emails have been sent. We'll click OK. It says email sent here. So let's go ahead and check uh, our email. Now remember I told you about Mailinator before uh, that could be used again as a, a throwaway email. So let's copy that email address that we used. Let's go to Mailinator. Let's paste that in and click on go. Okay, uh, we can see that uh, we did in fact receive that message. Let's go ahead and click on that. Let's make sure it worked. So thank you for your submission, Tom Smith. So it got that first name and last name correct. We noted that your favorite color is silver. Have a great day. So that's great. So we were able to do a mail merge um, for all of the records in the spreadsheet.
You'll also notice uh, that the merge status here changed to email open, so it does know that the message was open. It doesn't matter if there was just one record in here or 20 records in here, uh, it would have sent emails to all of those people with all of the specifics in there. The last thing I want to show you is how you can set yet another mail merge up to automatically send those emails out as soon as someone submits them. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and click on add-ons again, yet another mail merge. This time let's click on configure form submission notifications. All right, let's move my picture out of the way here again. All right, so we want to select notify address submitted by the form. So let's go ahead and click on that. What email template do we wanna use? The same one, submission received. Recipients column, that means which column contains the email address. Uh, in our particular case, it's email address. What's the sender name? Do we wanna track emails? Yes, we do. And let's go ahead and click on save. All right, and we'll see that that saved, so we can go ahead and click on OK there. Now what happens is, uh, let's go back to our form, okay, and let's submit another response, okay, and let's type in another random email address, okay, and first name, John Doe, and favorite color, let's go gold. All right, let's go ahead and click on Submit. Okay, let's check out our spreadsheet. So we see that it automatically uh, recorded the new response. And now we also see that it says email sent. So it automatically sent that email off. Uh, and we can validate that. Uh, let's go ahead and copy that email address that I used. Go back to Mailinator. Paste that in here. Okay, says submission received. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Thank you for your submission, John Doe. We've known that your favorite color is gold. All right, so that uh, that worked as well. So that uh, auto uh, send works uh, whether you have this document opened or not. Uh, it'll just moving forward. Anytime someone submits something to that uh, through that Google form and it gets recorded to this spreadsheet. Uh, that email will automatically go out to those people. You can have any number of variables in there. So in this particular case, we were just using three, um, but you again, you can have uh, any number. If you have any questions about uh, yet another mail merge or Google Forms, uh, don't hesitate to put your comments in the uh, comment section below. If you have any suggestions for future topics, uh, you might as well put those uh, down there as well. I will take a look at that and uh, see what I could do to do a tech tip on that in the future. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the uh, bell icon next to subscribe. Uh, that way you can become aware of any new episodes that come out. I hope you have a great afternoon. Bye.